Lee Smith. And Jane Johnston from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. And we're here today to review the Cold Steel Buckler. So for our first impressions, I personally don't do a lot of sword and buckler, so I don't have a lot to say on these, but the bucklers are objectively just tanks. These guys have lasted us for years. Cold Steel Bucklers also say on them, do not use with steel swords, but these bucklers are pretty ubiquitous in the human community and pretty much everyone uses them, whether it's synthetic or steel. First impression wise, they they look good, they work really well, and I haven't really seen anyone have too many problems with them. These bucklers are cheap, they handle well, they're comfortable, they fit with most HEMA gloves. I mean, realistically, these are a pretty good, um, pretty good piece of kit. I know a lot of the purists don't like them because they're made of plastic, but realistically, they protect from un the soft plastic, protects from unnecessary wear from, from edge to rim contact on steel swords. The same people who don't tend to like these very much also have problems with their power generation and their edge alignment when throwing cuts anyway, so I wouldn't take their opinions to heart. So in terms of the break-in period, again, this is one of those pieces of equipment that doesn't really have a break-in period. They've held up really well in the first few months, and these guys, some of them are years old, and they're still going really strong, and they are pretty much indestructible. This one we really tried hard to break. We've, we've tried really hard to break them with swords, we've done our best with that, and then we got to the point where we wanted to have a little fun, and we wanted to kill them, so we went out to the shooting range, and we put these guys there, and we just wrecked a little bit of stuff. <laughs> realistically we went kind of the middle of nowhere which is awesome um, honestly what we did is not recommended for your normal viewers it definitely voids any scope of a hope of warranty but to understand how much punishment these things can take I mean at close range I shot this with a 20 gauge shotgun with number six shot that I use for hunting grouse and I also shot it with a double-O bucket of my 12 gauge at close range which also stopped it like I mean you can see the scarring. We also put it next to two pounds of tannerite, and it stopped that too. Although it was in this condition when we did that, so I'm pretty sure a healthy buckler would have left pretty much unscathed, which was exceptionally impressive. Yeah, we wanted to see how hefty these bucklers are, and whew, they nailed it. I don't think you can kill one of these things. No, I, I'm other than like other than the 308. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that most of what we shot this with stopped it. So the things we shot this with, first we used a 22 from a 22 caliber rifle. And no issue, stopped all the shots. Uh, next we used a 9mm. It stopped on the boss, but took a chunk out of the rim. That's 9mm carbine. So next thing we used after that, 76239. Again, the boss stopped it, did take a chunk out of the rim. So next is the shotgun at 15 yards, 20 gauge shotgun, number six shot, it stopped it. So we tried that with a double O buck, a 12 gauge. Again, hit the boss and stopped most of the pellets. It's pretty, we were all surprised by that one. The 12 gauge slug, however, did take a chunk off the, a sizable chunk off the actual rim. Then I tried my hunting rifle 308 and that went right through the boss. So considering that this is pretty much post-apocalyptic level uh, indestructible, I was pretty impressed. It did okay. <laughs> also, we did stick it next to two pounds of tannerite. Again, it did pretty much was unscathed, which that was shocking. It was fun. Yeah, it, it was, was fun. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so things we like super short form, these bucklers are really, really tough. We tried our best to destroy one. It didn't really work. Oh. 
Hi, I'm Steve Kime from Blend Iron Martial Arts, and this is a well-loved cold steel buckler. As you can see, after all the damage is taken, I took several very, very hard, heavy hits with our SGT swords. Not even rattle, and that's with one nut attached. They're also really inexpensive. I mean, for a good quality buckler that you can use with steel or synthetic, they work really well. They're also really standard in the HEMA community. A lot of clubs have them. They're what gets used in tournaments, whether it be synthetic or steel for sword and buckler. So because of all that, I would call this a really reliable piece of equipment. You can trust that it's going to do what it says it's going to do and even go way above and beyond that. Like These are really tough. Three, four years of abuse and they're still going strong. I can't really ask for more. Cheap, tough, I mean, accessible for pretty much any entry-level HEMA practitioner. And most, it works with most sets of gloves, which is also quite nice. So the one thing you will notice, they do get a little chewed up. Pretty easy, take a sharp knife, shave them, or heat something up and melt them back to, back to uh, spec. Not really a big deal. So what we like to see changed. Honestly, there's not much I can really want to be changed on this buckler. If a bolt falls out or it gets broken, you go to the hardware store and replace it. Yeah, that is the only the, the only thing I could maybe say about this buckler is that sometimes the bolts will fall out for the handle, but you can fix them super easily. It's really and not a big deal. For like 25 cents? Yeah, Come exactly. I've, I've really got nothing that yeah. I want to see improved on this. Like this, this bad boy is golden. Yeah, for price, it's unbeatable. All right. So our overall impressions. This is a durable, affordable product that any entry level person or any student coming into this can buy and use right away. I can't really ask for more. It's cheap to fix if you have to fix it. Hard to destroy as we've proven. And honestly, looks good. I actually don't mind the look of it. I think it looks pretty good. I really couldn't ask for more on this product. This has been an excellent product so far. I'm pretty sure these will probably last another four or five years. Oh, absolutely. Especially based on the testing we did, like these guys will last. And I don't think there's enough good things we can say about this buckler. There's really nothing that we can find wrong with them. They're really durable. They're relatively inexpensive. These guys really are super, super good. And so because of that, we can't really help but give it a rating of two very big thumbs up. Also agreed. Lynn Thompson, did, Lynn Thompson and his Cold Steel team did a great job with this particular product. Honestly, fantastic. Fantastic work. Yeah, so we're really happy with these bucklers. We're going to keep using them for years to come, I'm sure. And if you wanted to get one, there are a few different dis distributors in Canada. You can get them from Dark Age Creations in Calgary. But they're all over the net. I mean, quick Google search. They're pretty much sold where any Cold Steel thing is sold. So. So that's been our review on the Cold Steel Buckler. If you have anything else that you wanted us to review, make sure you put it in the comments, let us know what you thought, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye now.